Hi, Stephen, it's Ray Cassidy here, just responding to your inquiry. Um, just even a quick scan through uh, how you appear in search results. Uh, having looked at your website, clearly the main thing that you're looking at is wedding photography. So uh, just you didn't give me a particular keyword to look for, so I've just gone in with what I imagine uh, your people would use, which is wedding photographer Carlisle. Uh, and you're not showing up in the local results. You'll notice that these now have been reduced to just three results, making it harder to uh, feature in local results. And on the first page, um, I'm not seeing you there. So Dave Draffen there, I think he's got He's got a couple of spots in, and so has Helen Whitaker. So they're clearly your, your major competition. So whatever they're doing, uh, you need, need to be doing a little bit more of. So wedding photographer Cumbria. Um, yeah, you know you don't seem to be using any. Adverts, you're not showing up in the local results. Um, Taylor Grease, Draffen, GJP, Catherine White, Rob Grange. Okay, so clearly you're not showing up that, that, that well for those two locations that you quoted. Uh, when I look for your brand, another crucial search, uh, I can see you've clearly set your Google My Business page up correctly as a service area business, which is good. Uh, your big disadvantage, of course, for showing up for Carlisle is the fact that you're Wigton based. Um, so you, it implies you'll need to do a little bit extra work to um, feature strongly in Carlisle searches. Um, yeah, okay, uh, I'll have a look at that in a moment. Uh, here's the website itself. Great looking photos. But instantly, the one thing that stands out, yes, your craft is a visual one, but the... Uh, People, to an extent, and certainly the search engines need some textual content to help them to understand whether you're the you're the the right answer to their question. I'm just going to. I notice there's no alt text showing up for underneath my cursor. And what that means is. Basically, there's no information to put those images in context. So, even in the inspected element, contact page, the about me page, there's a useful little story there, that's good, uh, but not terribly substantial. Uh, I believe that's a uh, Password protected area, yeah. Um, price options. Okay, yeah, that looks reasonable. And the blog. Okay. A little bit, um. Alright, there is a read more. Okay, yeah, the, the blog is a, a great place to get some text content in there to support the main pages of the website. Uh, and it seems to be lacking text. Uh, it's just... Ah, uh, is this the only... Is it, so now this is unreadable. I can't read what it says in it. Yeah, so you've got a usability issue there with readability. Uh, let's just pop onto your Google Plus page. 
Oh, that's not doing you any good. Your Google Plus link is taking you straight back to the Wix thing. Is this a Wix website? Let's just check the code out for your page source. Right, this is looking. Yeah, Wix. Okay. Uh, it's great for making pretty looking websites. Sometimes it is a little bit difficult to um, optimize it for searches if you're only using one of their uh, templates. So without you know without going into it deeper, there would be a need to see what the template from Wix allows you to do. Right, I'm just going to go back to your home page. Let's just get the home page there. Uh, just grab that link, Control C, and we'll stick yeah thing in there. I've got a knife. Oh, this is only a bit limited, this thing, but uh, we'll grab what it would look like in somebody's iPhone 4. Right, so it doesn't look as if it's mobile optimized, and for your particular trade and the types of people that I suspect will be looking for you, that is another major drawback. And again, it can be an issue with Wix-based uh, websites, but I know there are some templates that handle mobile um, mobile display quite well. Okay, so that's a very brief overview of what I've seen. Um, and it's looking like we'd need to do a little bit of key, keyword research. We'd need to do a little bit of competitor analysis to work out what it is that Helen Whitaker and Dave Drathen are doing that uh, is beating you into the uh, page twos and page threes, if that indeed is where you are, for the primary searches that you're interested in. And you'll almost certainly need to build up your, let's just see if you've got any citations, you've got a yell, you're on Facebook, You've got free index, so Flickr and don't know if that's a citation site for photographers or just another random website. There's your Google Plus page, Twitter. So you're showing up in those, so you're in Silex. There's Flickr again. Right, so is that a gallery of yours within business data index? Let's just very, very quickly take a look at that. I can't do it, spend any more time on this without, um, um, as this is a just a free service. So, tourist guide, photo galleries. Does this carry a link to your website? I can't see just with this quick scan, but uh, if you've got a link from there, that's a very good relevant link. And you'd need some more of those. Okay, right, so quite a few uh, details. And the final task we'll do is we'll just run it through a simple SEO audit tool, which I'll pause the video while we do that. Okay, so it scores reasonably well. Uh, marketing checklist. Yeah. Yeah, even this just sort of semi automated tool has picked up the lack of optimization. You know, there's not much information there for search engines or people to chew over. So it's picked up as a lack of links. Uh, optimize your site content. 
Let's just see if it's picked up any other specific thread. No. No, it's just going to give that. So, length 63, that's good. Net is good. Yeah. Now, there's no H1, that's typical of Wix. Base templates, they seem to forget that minor detail. Uh, no alt attributes, and this is just looking at the um, home page, this tool. And if you look there, this, it's just flagging up, but there's just no content on the page. It's only picked up one page. I would doubt that that is accurate. Uh, so you, you haven't connected it properly with your Google My Business page. It's not picking up much in the way of links, no broken links. Canonicalizations are okay. Well, there is a blog there, but again, it's a problem with the, the way that Wix is set up. That is probably blocking its ability to find it. Mobile rendering. Um, this is probably given a, a more accurate rendition actually than the previous little tool that we looked at. Yeah, it hasn't been set up for mobile. No sort of conversion forms. There is one contact form, I think. Okay, this is showing roughly what shows above the fold. Load time's excellent. So you've got open graph tags on there. The structured markup, that's good. That's about a quarter of that job done. So it's not bad, but the... Um, the yeah, just a lot of basics are missing. So you know the title tag for this page is okay. Meta description are okay. This lacks a H1, and it's just basically this lack of content on the page that is crippling you and not letting you be seen. Okay, that'll have to do for now, and uh, hopefully that will give you some. Um, information to chew over and consider the, the sort of prices that I'll be sending to you. Okay, hope it's helpful. Bye for now.